Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm gonna showcase a new series which I have already started, which means every time whenever I'm gonna see a skirmish, a battle, I will always try to record it in order to showcase the amazing gameplay and the combat gameplay especially of the call of dragons um, as you know i'm a hundred percent free to play player uh, i have not spent a single dollar in this game and mostly i have to fight against tier 5 players and somehow i managed to get more than 4 million merits um, as always i need to mention that call of dragons has one of the best uh, fighting combat gameplay which i have ever seen in any kingdom builder games so let's try to maximize our legions which i you should already know that i'm a marksman main right so i will try my best to maximize the merits and the legions which i have simply because it's quite hard to generate merits whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players uh, as always i will try my best to not get targeted because that's the only way how you cannot get merits in this game if you are going to die really really soon uh, well it's hard for any tier 4 player to simply attack tier 4 infantry which is giving us a lot of counter attack damage that's why i'm always trying to avoid hitting them but if there is not another choice, well, that's the only way of getting merits, right? So let's see how much merits we are going to get. So far, I'm waiting for my other legions to join. And we are only fighting with uh, the Wyverns because they are the fastest legion who came here. Simply because they are flyers and they can uh, fly over some terrains. Uh, I will let's check how soon my yeah like almost one minute and my allegiance will be here now my strongest legion is of course Nico and Kinara simply because I have invested all of my legendary tokens to awaken Kinara and she is 5554 which means I'm lacking one more level on the last uh, skill of course it will be a special occasion for me uh, whenever I will be able to uh, awaken my first ever legendary hero but uh, like it's not that much i guess but for a free to play players it's a lot because it's really hard to awaken any uh, legendary hero in this game well uh, this guy is tier 5 like you can see how much time we need to kill this tier 5 player especially infantry uh, they are super tanky they are dealing huge amount of counter attack damage and in general it's not that easy right whenever i see some cavalry players doesn't really matter if it's tier 5 or tier 4 i'm always trying my best to uh, target them because i don't know like they are just dying pretty fast like doesn't really matter if it's tier 5 or tier 4 you can see this guy is tier 5 and his cavalry unit is almost destroyed now i will try my best to focus um, on mages and the backline because after the introduction of uh, long range warfare like that's the only thing you want to do as a marksman player uh, to try to hit some mages on a long range because that's what i have always wanted to do because like mages has the highest range in the game uh, but finally we got some love to marksman players uh, and we will be able to hit uh, mages on the same range as they have been doing same with us for a uh, like entirety of the game right i was really happy when i uh, when i find out that signal talent will be staying with us for a long time uh, currently you can you might think that we are much more in terms of pure legions uh, but we don't we have like only one tier 5 player uh, for example this guy has like tier 5 tier 5 uh, tier 5 so like trust me it's not like evenly matched battle it's not evenly matched skirmish it's like a uh, for one tier 5 legion it's equivalent to like somewhere near like three to four tier 4 legions right uh, if we're gonna compare it like purely in terms of stats well we should not do that because their stats are just too much i don't want to move close to this guy because randomly he might pop up 
uh, with the Goresh and Skolgul Legion and uh, whenever the yep that's what actually happened that's why I was scared of doing something here because whenever like Skolgul and Goresh pop up and they use their main uh, artifact which is found in five nearby legions it's pretty hard to do something there right I'm quite sure that these guys will pop up any moment let's wait let's see of course i will try my best to utilize all of my legions and uh, whenever they will be gone i will be checking the merit score and hopefully uh, we will have at least 10,000 merits out of this battle right that's the uh, score i always looking for if i have uh, 10,000 merits minimum on every single legion uh, it means that i have done a good job uh, and that's the metrics I'm generally using whenever I'm fighting even tier 5 players, tier 4 players, doesn't really matter. Uh, since the small skirmish is quite over and we are waiting until these guys will pop up again, we can simply check uh, how the reports are looking for now because we have fought for some time. Uh, well, simply because Wyverns were, was, were here uh, before the any other legions, Wyverns got 10,000 merits. Uh, like half an hour ago, I was fighting on the same spot and we got like 70,000 merits uh, from the two legions, which is amazing for a free to play player, especially if you are fighting against tier 5s, right? So this is the merit score we are currently having uh, from per every single legion. And let's see if the enemy will come out any time. Uh, I'm quite uh, afraid to move up because I like whenever I see a tier five player having Goresh and Skolgul, uh, it's my biggest fear. Uh, whenever they, yep, that's what actually happened. That's what I was fearing. Let's try and let's get some merits out of this fight. I don't want to get targeted, uh, and also I don't want. Uh, to hit Madeline uh, because Madeline has one of the highest counter attack damage possible right finally like some fights are happening we are going to use artifacts on the best possible way uh, and uh, yep like in general I think cavalry units are one of the weakest uh, legion type in the game currently and whenever I see cavalry players doesn't really matter if they are tier 5s or tier 4s I generally want to target them because they are dying really really fast does not really matter actually if they are tier 5s or tier 4s so my advice would be if you are in war like and you see calves moving around Try to target them, they will die pretty soon and you are going to get your merits like faster. If you can't target cavalry units, you can always uh, zoom out, right? And whenever you are zoomed out, it's easy to click on them. Unfortunately, my legions are going too close, so let's, let's choose a better position. And yeah, like as you can see, 40,000 merits fighting against tier 5 player. Like it, it always feels good uh, whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players and you are having an amazing merit scores, right? Uh, in general, it's pretty hard for tier 4 and free to play players to have a satisfaction playing wars uh, against tier 5s, but honestly, if you are not fighting in this game, uh, I don't know why you are playing it because it's pretty boring to just sit and gather uh, resources. You are gathering resources, you are researching, you are building the constructions in order to be strong and in order to get uh, like stronger legions to fight and to get more merits in this season i managed to get uh, more than four million merits which is an amazing score if you ask me for any type of player honestly but especially for uh tier four player uh, yeah my friend is trying to attack me <laughs> there we go yeah that's the gameplay, that's the combat which I think everybody likes, uh, which I think is one of the best which I have ever seen in terms of uh, Kingdom Builder games. Uh, tell me what's your opinion, maybe you have different advices, maybe you have a different playstyle. I generally, like my main playstyle is that I'm trying to not get targeted. If I see that at least one legion is targeting my legion, I'm always moving back. Because in order to generate merits in this game, you have to 
stay alive right that's the most basic thing more time you are alive uh, there have a, you are having a more opportunity to use more uh, artifact and you have a more chance to deal more damage regardless of who you are attacking right that's the merit scores which you have we get after those fights um, against tier 5 players simply you just don't need to target infantry uh, if you see cavalry you target cavalry if you are able to hit mages you hit mages that's the main gameplay which i have been playing this whole season and i think it's been quite good uh, don't get me wrong uh, i will never stand one versus one against tier 5 player because result is really obvious um, only thing i can do like we're gonna gather our ally members who are like same power level as me like tier 4 players and we will be trying to uh, attack one tier 5 player that's generally how you can fight against them right because you need some time uh, to catch them in terms of time period of the game uh, whenever they are paying some money in the game it means they are getting stronger faster but longer you are playing you are like closing that gap day by day and in general i don't need to repeat that any kingdom builder game is a grind uh, right like if you are grinding every single day and if you are not fighting you are not feeling your progress right that's why uh, whenever you have a chance to fight against enemies doesn't really matter if it's a tier 5 tier 4 tier 3 i would always advise you guys to um, get experience fight because in the future there won't be a season without fights right and the uh, more experience you are going to get more merits you are going to get at the end of the day uh, i will always try my best to showcase the combat gameplay of call of dragons in general uh, that's the best possible uh, gameplay which we can show in this kingdom builder game so this is a new series i have already done a couple of videos whenever i'm fighting and i will continue because i feel like uh, guides and uh, tips and tricks are important uh, for anybody and for myself so don't get me wrong sometimes i'm even watching my own guides because we have a many different feature and it's easy to forget them but uh, in my opinion uh, in terms of watching uh, the gameplay of call of dragons that's way better uh, then like only taking some guides speaking about tips and tricks speaking about some mistakes which you might do so i think in general i will be continuing making this kind of videos whenever i, ha I will have a chance to showcase the combat gameplay i will try my best to do that uh, in terms of hospital out of this fight well it's pretty obvious that whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players you are going to have a full hospital uh, in a matter of seconds well even 250,000 is like not a lot amount but if we're gonna compare the amount of time we were fighting um, it's quite a lot right like fighting happened for five minutes nobody targeted me uh, i received a lot of counter-attack damage and my hospital still looks kind of uh, big well if you want to fight longer you have to have uh, elixir production on a quite high amount right almost half million uh, that's how you can generally fight and in general i'm a marksman main the most the units i have in this game is marksman because i'm using at least three marksman regions for fighting as always tell me your ideas do you like this kind of content um, like in my opinion that's the best type of content i can take you know, in terms of gameplay uh, so if you if you like it share it on comment section uh, press like subscribe it always gives me more and more motivation to make uh, content for this amazing game uh, whenever i will have a chance to showcase the combat gameplay of the call of dragons i will do it 100 uh, percent thanks for watching i hope my videos are helping you and i hope you are having an amazing day morning or night wherever you are thanks for watching bye bye and good luck